right. Okay. So we are going to attach our pinch pops today. So for this, you're going to need your needle tool, which should look like this on your tool sheet. And remember, you should have four pinch pops. I'm only going to show you attaching the body, but you should do the same process for the head. So you're, you'll need to score. Anytime you're attaching clay to clay, you need to score both sides of the attachment. Uh, scoring is a series of gash marks or lines. Uh, you need to go two directions and really rough up that surface in order to um, create more surface area for that clay to really form good and strong attachment. So this is me scoring one side of our body, one of our pinch pots. I'm gonna set it down and then I'm gonna score the other side. Any, both sides of the attachment need score marks before you attach anything. Anytime you attach clay to clay, you score it and then you add slip. I'll go. You can also use your knife for this. So I primarily use my pin tool, um, but the knife will work as well or a fork or a paper clip, really anything that, that will create lines and, and rough up that surface for you is fine. You should have slip in one of your glaze cups like that. You only need to add slip to one side of your pinch pot. Um, sometimes the slip gets a little clumpy, so you kind of have to glaze it on there like a, like jelly. Um, but be pretty liberal with the slip. You don't need to, you know, soak it in slip, but you do need quite a bit of bit of it. And remember, this is acting like our glue. So now I'm going to put both sides together, and then. I'm going to hold it kind of gently as I as I seal up the seam. The action for this is taking your thumb back and forth over that seam. You don't want to go up and down the seam. So back and forth is important. And you want to keep doing this until you really can't see the seam anymore. So this takes a little bit of time. You can use um, either thumb is fine. Sometimes I use my fingers. Um, but you're really going back and forth over the top of that, moving the clay in and out of that uh, seam in order to make it disappear. The less you can see it, the stronger your connection. Once you get the seam sealed up, the air inside becomes trapped and you can um, put a little bit more pressure on it and kind of rotate it in other directions. If you do this, you can get rid of some unwanted bumps or lumps in your sphere um, and really shape the body the way that you would like it to be. You can do this as long as you'd like. I always like to get my sphere really nice and smooth and make sure that that seam is really gone and disappeared. Oops, I dropped my slip. Once that seam is gone, I start making circles with my thumb, um, just kind of massaging those unwanted bumps out of the clay. And you can feel this as you're working. It's hard to see, but you can definitely feel it with your fingers. So that's looking pretty good. There is my sphere. Um, I'm going to let this firm up overnight. You're gonna do the same thing with your head. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to attach them in the next video. So again, I'm going to take my bag over the top of my clay and seal it down uh, so there's no air in it. That way it doesn't dry out.